Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, lecture. Um, so in this lecture, um, we'll um, develop our first uh, Google Earth Engine web application, a uh, very basic one actually. And so if you're new to Earth Engine or Earth Engine apps, um, you know, this is the Google Earth Engine website uh, where you can, you know, um, uh, request access and uh, you can uh, type in earthengine.google.com and then you can click here the sign up uh, to uh, get um, granted um, access and usually for research or educational um, purpose uh, your request will be approved uh, within a day or two so that's how you sign up for Earth Engine and so regularly um, when you develop Earth Engine um, um, using the code editor API you know so you do not um, I mean you can share uh, the code editor script to other people or collaborators or clients but then they need to have access to Earth Engine okay and then you cannot I mean share to you know public so the advantage to an Earth Engine app is that you can share um, your analysis results um, that you have done using the Google Earth Engine Cloud API to anyone in the world, um, you know, to access your Earth Engine app, uh, what people need is just internet access, right? They can access it using their mobile um, or desktop as far as they have internet. And that's that's uh, uh, very nice. And um, and the other thing is, um, you know, it's interactive. Um, you know, you can zoom in, zoom out, and change, uh, you know, visualization and things like that. So uh, those are the two advantages to um, an Earth Engine app. And so today um, I'll show you how you can start um, um, developing your first Earth Engine app using a JavaScript um, code editor API uh, using the Google Earth Engine um, uh, free uh, cloud API actually and so let's get started I mean you don't need to um, have um, a really advanced um, programming skills to develop your uh, first uh, Earth Engine web application it's very easy and straightforward so let's get started so the first thing is this is a code editor in Earth Engine, and this is a you know map canvas for visualization. You can also monitor your um, um, progress or debug your code here on the uh, right side with the console. Um, so let's get started. Um, let's write our um, first um, you know um, Earth Engine app. Um, so our title for that is uh, make um, a button widget. So we'll develop a widget, right? So if you are um, new to Earth Engine, if you look at the um, widgets, the so Earth Engine has the beauty of Earth Engine, is, you know, is that you have um, a very uh, well written or organized documentation here. So if you look at UI or user interface, you can get, um, you know. Um, detailed uh, documentation here so for example um, the UI user interface that I would like to do uh, I mean maybe um, you know EE call function and to get some detail about this you can just um, click that and then um, get some information about that and so um, Another thing is like if you have uh, a user interface, there are um, a bunch of user interface um, built in functions. Um, what you can do to understand what each of these are um, is that just click, um, you know, some of this. So, for example, um, if we are interested to look at a button, for example, you know, you, you can choose some of this uh, to create a button. For example, uh, we'll be using onClick um, function. So 
you know you can see that you can read that you know registers a callback that's fired when the button is clicked so what this function is is that um, it will um, it will fire uh, you know an action when you click that button so um, so anyway so that's how you um, uh, refer to the Earth Engine documentation to get more detail uh, you know uh, what the different functions are um, so let's get started so let's create our first um, um, Earth Engine app which is a simple uh, you know button right so I'll be using um, uh, an on click uh, function when you click this Earth Engine map canvas something happens okay so that's the function and I'm using actually the Earth Engine um, you know button um, on click um, you know button which is a built-in function uh, so okay so the first thing is that I'll declare a variable um, you know when you are writing a, a JavaScript code you have to declare you know variable so I'll call this a button okay I'll call my, my variable um, you know button and then call UI uh, button so this is an earth engine built-in function okay and so uh, I'll name this function as uh, click me because when you click that new button that I'm creating, it will fire an action. Um, so I'll call it click me. I'll call it click me. And so this will actually uh, create a variable, which is my button, my new button, well, which is click me. And the, the second thing that I need to create is, um, so I'll say I'll create a set, um, you know, a callback uh, function uh, to, that's running or that's firing when the button is clicked, right? So let me let's try let's give it a title for this, um, and so let's just get um, that here. So I'll write my title here. I'll call it set a uh, callback uh, function. callback function to run when um, the button is is clicked okay and so let me write that function here I'll um, call it button and I'll just um, call this um, variable right so um, and I'll call that on click function which is a built-in Earth Engine function I've shown you earlier so it's marking it you know highlighted and function and um, I'll open a, a curly bracket to add my other parameters uh, in my function so when um, so when you click um, you know that fun when you click that button um, it, you know I needed to print something right so I'll click print uh, print uh, hello world so the, what I want that button to be is just when I click it um, it will print a hello world at a string so let's write that um, in a single quotation. So that's just a pretty simple um, app. And let me just close it by a semicolon. So JavaScript, um, you know, requires you to. Um, it's not actually required, uh, but it will it will still run. Um, the function will still run without a semicolon, but it will aesthetically be. Um, nicer and the other thing is um, so I'll have this um, function and I have this variable declared and the last thing I would do is I'll um, uh, actually print uh, uh, print that that variable okay that function sorry so print 
I'll call this function here. Okay. And semicolon here. Let's just give it a title so that we can remember. So display the button in the console. In the console. So the console is this, okay? So what I need is that when I click that new uh, widget uh, or just button, a button widget, and which which prints hello world and i would like actually to print um, that hello world on the console because i did a print um, you know this function button okay so and so that's my you know literally my funk my um um app um you know my entire app uh, the javascript code for my entire app so the next thing I need to do is to execute that and I'll, I'll click run to execute that and um, I'll see that. Um, so you see that new um, new button, uh, new button widget um, is created, which is called click me. It's exactly as I have written it here, click me and click me. So nothing is happening now. So once I click this, it will just print hello world, right? So that's that's my first, uh, you know, hello world, uh, Earth Engine app. So let's go ahead and, and click it. Click here, you go. So when I click that, my you know a print, you know, is fired. So this um, text uh, is hello world, hello world. So that's exciting. So uh, now we have um, you know written our first JavaScript. Um, uh, you know, to build our, our first Earth Engine app, which is a very basic and simple, and we have executed it and it works perfect. So that's how you would create your, um, uh, your first Hello World Earth Engine uh, web application.